Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Gadget Review Channel. Today, I'm going to review an As Seen on TV product, another As Seen on TV product. This is the original Ice Genie Ice Cube Maker. Safe space in your freezer. It says holds up to 120 ice cubes. All you have to do is you fill, freeze, and squeeze. So it, if it actually works, this is a pretty cool item because I do like ice in my drinks. So uh, next time you have a, I'll show you, a little diet cola from Kroger Big K you may want to add some ice from ice cubes from your ice genie so just fill before after then chill must see use it as a drink holder or quickly chill bottled beverages it says top rack dishwasher safe form fitting lid so yeah if you don't support me on patreon at least like share comment uh, the payment for this video is share with your friends and family uh, get the word out of this channel, so definitely tell your friends and family, share everywhere, social media, let me know. If you like As Seen on TV products, gadgets, things like that, if you like reviews, share it to uh, everyone you know. So here we go, let's open it up, see what's inside. And if you do support me on Patreon, that'd be great. Alright, so you have instruction booklet. Wow, they even give you little tongs for your ice, little plastic tongs. So please note, prior to first use, you may find it difficult to remove the cylinder from the Ice Genie cube maker. Rest assured, once frozen, the cylinder will easily be removed. All right, so it says cool tip. It says cool tip. Once frozen, you may find it more convenient when making additional batches of ice. Remove the ice cubes from the unit and place them in a separate bowl. Next, insert the cylinder back into the chamber, then place, place the ice cubes back in the cylinder. Now you can fill the channel with water. All right, so icegenietips.com. All right, so all you have to do is give you a little instructions with pictures, which is great. So step one, or no, no, no. Okay, so components. You have the cylinder, the chamber, and the lid. So step one, insert the cylinder into the bottom of the chamber, which has already happened. See that? It's already in there, cylinder. Uh, there's a little fill line right here. So it says fill with water, snap the lid, uh, onto the Ice Genie Ice Cube Maker, place in the freezer upright four to six hours. And then, once it's done, once frozen, remove Ice Genie Cube Maker from the freezer, remove lid, then firmly squeeze the chamber from all sides. You can see that. And then you lift the cylinder, and then you have awesome ice cubes, and you just squeeze them, release all the ice cubes, <laughs> so it's just basically like an ice cube maker, um, but instead of laying flat, it's a cylinder. All right, so I'm just going to fill it up here, use some nice filtered water. All right, so it's been four hours exactly. I put the uh, freezer on express freezing, freezing, so it should be done. All right, so here we go. Let me just read the directions once again. You kind of just squeeze this, remove the lid, and then squeeze the chamber from all sides. There we go. All right, so <laughs> uh, I think I messed up actually. All right, so I filled up the sides, which is that's what you're supposed to do. Uh, so you can see the water kind of up to the fill line. I'm going to put it back in the freezer for another four hours. All right, so here we go. It's been another four hours. It should work this time. Taking it out of the freezer. Took off the lid. And so, yeah, all you have to do is take out the cylinder here. There we go. Cylinders out. 
little bit of ice in there from the mess up there. But yeah, so check that out. You can definitely put a bottle in here. There's ice lining the walls. And uh, yeah, so. Squeeze the chamber, release all the ice cubes in the middle area, make sure all the ice cubes are pushed out of the cavities prior to yeah, putting the sleeve back in. All right, so here we go. Look at all those little mini ice cubes pop out. <laughs> and there you go. So, you can remove the ice. So, um, yeah, so they give two options. You can either remove the ice, you know, put it on a tray or a bowl or something, which I think would be the easiest. Or you can just put the sleeve back in on the sides. Um, they had to pop the ice out of the bottom there. But yeah, so you just, you can put the sleeve back in. That's a little bit harder because there's some ones that kind of get stuck. So I'd probably just dump this out, put the sleeve back in, and then you're ready to make more ice cubes. But yeah, this is what the ice cubes look like. I guess as far as ice cubes go, not the most, I guess, attractive shape. Um, but yeah, I would say kind of a cool little gadget. Um, and I guess it is a way of making ice in your freezer and have it you know, ready to go at any time. Yeah, just put the ice in the glass, you put the sleeve back in, you dump the ice kind of the center, and then you fill it back up to make another batch. Or at least that's what it shows. So yeah, an alternative method you may find more convenient is to move the cubes out of the way by twisting the chamber back and forth as you work the cylinder, cylinder, cylinder all the way down. After the cylinder is fully sealed in the ice genie, Cube maker, simply refill the channels of the chamber, leaving the already made cubes in the center of the cylinder. So, pretty cool item. I don't know if I'll be using this on a regular basis, but kind of fun, I guess, to keep it in your, your freezer. It's a way of making ice cubes. I think, uh, in my opinion, uh, just an ice tray is the way to go. You know, get in a nice ice tray. Uh, especially one with a lid because I think you know having a lid prevents kind of the if you keep them in the freezer get the, getting like a smell to them um, but yeah leave it up to you it's definitely a gadget so what whether you need it or not I think that's um, for me a no but let me know what you think it's the ice genie I wish this lid went on a little bit better and easier kind of have to tuck in all the sides but yeah if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel support my content patreon.com slash nine mall nine malls with an s at the end so go to patreon search nine malls and uh yeah definitely support me over there really appreciate it there's free stuff you get free uh content that you won't see anywhere else um exclusive reviews but if you just want to support my channel um just go over there and there are many different options. So let me know what you think of this thing. And thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you later.